Welcome to V Newsletter, produced by the editorial team that brings you the music and sound retailer. I'm Jill Nicolini. Hopefully, all you guys have had a great couple of weeks since our last broadcast. Now, let me catch you up on all that's buzzworthy in the music products industry. Presonus is organizing its third annual user conference coming this October. An important deal has been struck between Alfred Music and Make Music INC. Plus, a reverend guitar has risen from the ashes with a super cool restoration. And we've got all the details on Music China, the mecca of Far East music products trade fairs. All that and more coming up right now. The guys from Presonus love to have fun, and there'll be plenty of that to be had, and a big helping of technical education as well at Presonus Fear 2013. Scheduled for October 24th through the 26th, it's the company's third annual user conference. One and two day passes are available at low prices. Held at the Manship Theater in downtown Baton Rouge, it will feature seminars by well known experts. The conference will present in-depth tips and techniques for various Presonus technologies. World-renowned professionals will reveal how they do their live sound and recording magic using Presonus gear. For details, visit presonusphere2013.presonus.com. An agreement's been reached between Alfred Music and Make Music. Under the terms of the deal, Alfred Music will be the sole distributor in North America, India, Australia, and New Zealand for Finale and Garretton products. Make Music products distributed by Alfred Music will offer a wide range of music software solutions for educators, pro audio professionals, and musicians. According to Ron Manis, Alfred Music CEO, quote, Make Music has developed an incredible line of music technology products that play an instrumental role in the way the world composes, teaches, learns, and performs music. Distribution in North America will be fully launched by November 2nd. You've got to stick around because we'll be right back with all new products. Once again, PV Electronics revolutionizes the modeling amp industry, introducing the world's first variable instrument performance amplifier, the Viper VIP. The Viper VIP series contains innovative technology to create the most diverse and best sounding modeling amplifiers available. Whether you are an electric, acoustic, or bass guitar player, you owe it to yourself to experience the PV Viper VIP series today. I was going to sing Stand By Me, but instead, maybe I should just tell you about on stage Stan's cool new mic stand. The MS7325 stackable round bass mic stand is now shipping. The carefully shaped notched base allows five MS7325 stands to be stacked for storage and or transport. The base is made of die cast steel and features five rubber feet that isolate it from rumble and prevent wobbling. The stand also has a clip-on cable holder and a durable polymer height adjustment clutch. Godlikes announced two new Maxon pedals, the AD10 Analog Delay and the ASC10 Ambient Stereo Chorus. Housed in Maxon's compact series chassis, both models deliver professional-grade performance. Common features include easy access battery door, LED status indicator, 9-volt battery or AC power options, and buffered bypass switching. The AD10 offers 600 millisecond analog delay as well as warm organic delay tone with low noise. You can't beat the classics and Walden Guitars proves it with their new Solana series classical guitar models. They reduce the friction and stress of owning and maintaining a classical guitar. The company's incorporated their modern Walden neck joint and neck reinforcement system into the Solana models without compromising playability or tone. The Solana series will also feature premium tone woods such as Angleman Spruce, Sitka Spruce, and Western Red Cedar top options, plus mahogany or Indian rosewood back and sides. Justin Timberlake's been a megastar since his NSYNC days, so what wireless is he using on his world tour? Plus, we have the story about the Reverend guitar that rose from the ashes. You don't want to go away now. See you in a sec. <laughs> There's a very artistic element to this show that you don't see really any place else. 
and that's what gives it the vibe of being so cool. At the end of Thursday, it felt like a successful show. Yeah, the rest of this weekend has been uh, almost the icing on the cake. It's been fantastic. We've been approached by enthusiasts and owners, retailers from all over the world. We've had a great buzz in the booth the entire weekend. The first day of the show, we wrote more business than we did all last, all the whole weekend last year. It's been a great, it's been a great show for us. I, I don't see how we could miss it. Uh, you know, I think it's uh, absolutely a necessity. But the most important thing is to meet people, meet retailers, meet manufacturers, meet distributors, and that's the great thing about NEM because NEM is really the kickoff of the year. Justin Timberlake's 2020 Experience World Tour put its trust in Audio Technica for quality wireless. To assure that every bit of that experience translates to the sold out stadiums and arenas, the tour is passing through. Front of house mixer Andy Meyer chose the Artist Elite 5000 series frequency agile true diversity UHF wireless system. It's paired with an AEW T6100 transmitter and AEW R5200 receiver. On tour, these system components deliver Timberlake's vocals flawlessly to tens of thousands of fans each night. Now, according to Meyer, quote, the sound quality is superior. It sounds like we're taking the studio out on the road. When Dorian Connell's house burned down, he lost nearly everything. He pulled two damaged Reverend guitars from the rubble and shipped them back to the company. The charger was in better shape and was chosen for restoration. The strings were still intact, but the neck was largely unplayable and all the plastic on the guitar had melted. The body was scraped and washed several times, but not repainted. The surviving hardware was also cleaned, but left imperfect. After replacing the pickups and the neck, it received a special serial number with flames to commemorate the restoration. The guitar was renamed the Reverend Phoenix. I have to say, I think these next products are really, really cool. Power is the name of the game for RCF's latest, the Sub 8004AS subwoofer. It features a high power, hypervented 18 inch woofer with 4 inch inside outside voice coils for good power handling and thermal performance. It's powered by a 2500 watt digital amplifier module that's loaded in a separate chamber in the rear of the box, mechanically insulated from vibrations. New professional protective cases from Odyssey serve three musical instrument segments, pedal boards, keyboards, and guitar amplifiers. The FZG pedal guitar pedal cases are ATA flight ready. They're designed to safely store pedals connected and mounted to the slanted pedal board. Odyssey's FZKB keyboard cases feature rugged reinforced plywood panels and interior interlocking memory foam customizable to accommodate various keyboard shapes. The FZGC guitar amplifier cases accommodate amp head and guitar combo amps and feature fully lined interior interlocking memory foam. Here's the latest cool product launch from CAD Audio. The new GXLV and GXLU wireless systems offer ease of use and flexible operation while providing a high performance solution in a dual system configuration. The GXLV VHF receiver features two channels of VHF wireless in one chassis. Now it includes XLR and quarter inch discrete outputs as well as XLR as a mix output of the two channels. The GXLU UHF receiver includes two channels of UHF wireless also engineered into one chassis. The retailers gearing up Music China. When we come back, we'll clue you in on this year's massive show in Shanghai. Plus, what do Bruce Springsteen and the retailer have in common? Hmm, you'll just have to wait. Hi, I'm Yul Jabara, CEO of Galaxy Audio. Our family business has grown into much more than hotspots. This year, we celebrate our 35th anniversary. Check out our very popular lightweight headset mics, wireless microphones, and wireless personal monitors. Music China is once again expecting a successful show this year with more than 1,600 brands and suppliers from 25 countries and regions. It will be held at the Shanghai New International Expo Center from October 10th through the 13th. The show will boast 10 international pavilions, Belgium, the Czech Republic, France, Germany, Italy, Japan, the Netherlands, Spain, Taiwan and the UK. 
Brands well-known stateside that will be in attendance include Alfred, Diodario, Focusrite, PV, Taylor, Yamaha, and Zildjian. Apart from the products on offer, the show will also feature more than 1,000 concurrent events, including educational forums, live entertainment, and workshops. The music and sound retailer is a big believer in American manufacturing, and that's why our annual Born in the USA story is going to return once again this year. Coming at you in next month's issue, the story features comments from manufacturers that still invest in making a majority of their products right here in America. We ask our respondents about the value of manufacturing domestically, as well as why it's smart for retailers to stock products that are made in the USA. Check out that story, plus a drum and percussion roundtable, and a whole lot more in October. Well, that wraps up the newsletter for this month, but I'll be back with you in October with more hot news and product debuts. Till then, I'm Jill Nicolini, and I will be seeing you soon.